stuck in the middle of a project or presentation, frustrated by an unexpected error on your system, or spending hours searching online for a solution only to feel more lost? What if I told you there's an AI tool that can solve your problem instantly while you share your screen? Hi everyone, welcome to tech to ai your one-stop destination for mastering AI tools and making your work life easier. Today, I'm introducing you to an amazing feature of Google AI Studio, the real-time streaming feature. This tool is a lifesaver for anyone who needs instant help while working, whether it's solving a tricky issue, fixing an error, or simply finding the best way to approach a task. And the best part, it works in real time. So no more waiting around or endless Googling for answers. Let's explore how this feature works and see it in action. Okay, um, let's head over to the Google AI Studio website. Make sure you're logged in with your Google account. This is the homepage of Google AI Studio. There are so many features to explore here, but today we're focusing on stream real time. So let's go ahead and click on that. Here, you'll see three ways to connect in real time with Google AI Studio. First, click on the mic icon. You'll need to give permission for Google AI Studio to access your microphone. Next, click on this small camera icon and choose screen. You also have the option to select camera if you want to share your webcam instead. Now, select entire screen from the options. Once that's done, click save. And there you have it, your streaming is now live. Let's check it out. Hi. Hi. Hi there. Is there anything I can help you with? Can you see my computer screen? Yes, I can see your screen. It looks like you have a spreadsheet open. Is there something specific you would like me to look at? Can you see that in this spreadsheet, the units sold for all three products, green tea, oatmeal cookies, and coffee beans, sir, entered in the same column B? Okay. okay. I see that you have a spreadsheet with store branch data. Specifically, you're pointing out that the number of units sold for green tea, oatmeal cookies, and coffee beans are all listed in the same column. Is that right? Yes. Okay. okay. So what would you like to do with this data? Okay, SO, I want you to focus on column B here. The product. Unit sold column. Okay, it sounds like you're referring to the column labeled products slash units sold. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. I want your help to figure out how to separate the data for these three products into separate columns. So you would like to separate the data in the product slash units sold column into separate columns, specifically column B. Is this correct? Correct. Okay, I understand. So you want to split the data in the products slash units sold column into three separate columns, one for green tea, one for oatmeal cookies, and one for coffee beans. Is that right? Yes, that's right. So, I want you to help me with the process. Shall we proceed? Okay, it sounds like you want to proceed with separating the data into columns. Would you like me to walk you through how to do that? Yes, please. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's get started. First, select the entire column that has the combined data, which is column B in your case. Okay. Have you done that? I'm on it. Okay, done. What's next? Okay, now that you've selected column B, go to the data tab on the ribbon at the top of the screen. Have you found the data tab? Okay. I have click it. Okay. okay. Now in the data tab, look for the text to columns option, which is usually in the data tools section. Do you see it? Okay. Great. 
Great. Click text to columns. A window should appear. Is that the case? Yes, I see a window you pop up. You have the text to columns window open. Is it asking you if the data is delimited or fixed width? Delimited. Okay, now select delimited and then click next. Did you do that? Yes. Okay, now you should see a section asking what the delimiter is. Select other and then type a comma new in the box next to it. You see that? Should I uncheck tab? Okay, it sounds like you are happy. No, you don't need to uncheck anything. Just make sure that the comma is selected as the delimiter and then click okay. next. Okay. Okay. Ask okay. how the data will be split. Then just click. Great, now just click finish, and the data should be separated into three columns. Is that what you're seeing? No. It looks like there's a problem. Okay, it sounds like there was an error. Hey, hey. It looks like while we are making these changes, the data in the total sales column is being overwritten because we are moving the coffee beans data into column C. I okay, think we it need to add like you are two now more pointing columns out to the, the right total of column sales B. are in column C. Is that correct? No, 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 you are not getting me. Okay, let me just add the columns and repeat the process. Okay, it sounds like you are saying that the total sales are in column C, and you think that because we moved the product data to new columns, we should now insert some more columns before moving forward. Is that a fair summary? Yes. You want to insert two new columns to the left of the total sales column, which is column C. Is that correct? Yes, I have inserted the columns and I have achieved what I wanted. Thank you so much for your help. So what do you see on the screen? Okay, I see a desktop screen with a dark blue background and a futuristic logo in the middle. The logo includes the text, T-E-C-H-2-A-I, bridging tech with AI. There are various icons on the left side and bottom of the screen as well. Is there anything else I can help you with? Hmm. Okay, can you guide me on how to delete temporary files from my system? Sure, I can guide you through deleting temporary files. Do you want to do it through the Windows settings or another way? What's the simplest way to do it? Let's do it the simplest way. Okay, to open the run command, press the Windows key and the R key at the same time. All right, what's next? Great, now type percent temp percent into the run box and then press enter. Right. Done. Okay, now you'll want to select all the files and folders in this window. You can do this by pressing Ctrl and A at the same time. What now? Now press the delete key to delete all those files.
yes okay the temp files are being deleted it might take some time i guess thank you so much for your help i'll reach out to you another time and uh, just like that problem solved the real time suggestions saved me so much time and effort this is just one example but imagine how helpful this could be for other tasks designing presentations coding or even troubleshooting software issues as you saw google ai studio's real time streaming feature is like having a personal assistant that's always ready to help it's fast efficient and super easy to use whether you're a student a professional or just someone trying to get things done this tool is a game changer try it out today and let me know in the comments how you'd use this feature in your work don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel tech2ai for more ai tips and tricks i'll see you in the next video till then take care